to our morning somatics class. Let's try three different somatic movements that are going to be helpful for strengthening up our back extensors, since many of us sit like this, whether we're driving around a computer, and then we're going to do some beautiful spinal rotations and a little bit of movement for our shoulders. Start sitting nice and tall. We're going to take three deep breaths here. So breathe in to the lower ribs and expand them through the front to the back and the sides. Come on, breathe a little bit more, a little bit more. And then slowly, slowly breathe it out. Push the air out from the diaphragm up to the bottom, middle and top ribs, lungs. Breathe in. Bit more, bit more. See so it go out to the back, into the, out to the front, out to the sides, and slowly breathing out. Let's fill up a little bit more. So the lower ribs inhale to the middle ribs and to the upper ribs. Open the front of your chest, open back to your shoulder blades, and slowly, slowly. And now place your hands on the lower part of your back and reach your feet a little bit forward to counterbalance you. Here we're going to breathe into the very lowest lobes of our lungs. So we're going to give our kidneys and our adrenal glands a little bit of a massage as we push the air into these lowest part of our lungs. So let's breathe in, come in from the top lungs, the middle lungs, and now into the lower lungs, breathe into there. Feel the cushion down onto my kidney. Breathe it in, breathe it in. And as you exhale, curl out. Stay there and breathe again into your kidneys. Breathe it in. You filled up from the top, middle, and now into the lower lungs. Breathe it in. Pull it into the lower back, breathe it in. And as you exhale, put your hands on the back of your knees and start to roll down to the floor, bringing your feet a bit closer to you. Slide your hands along your thighs and lower to the mat. And feel the comfort of the mat. Not that this is going to be hard work, although you will work your body efficiently and effectively like it needs to. So just check that the backs of your shoulders are connected to the mat, that your upper ribs, your middle ribs, and your lower ribs are nicely connecting to the mat. And you feel your lower back is onto the floor and your feet. So let's now, as we inhale, press our tailbone down into the mat. Your pubic bone will reach towards your knees. And as you breathe in and allow the air to come into your belly, you'll notice that there's a tension through the back. That's okay, because we know we'll relax it later. So breathing in, and you're in a slight arch. As you exhale, let everything relax. Just relax it to the floor. And it might, in the beginning, feel a little bit jerky, because your nervous system's just not used to you taking it into full relaxation. Let's do three more of those. Inhale, expanding through the lower ribs in the belly. Pressing your lower part of your sacrum and your tailbone to the mat, allowing your waistline to contract away from the floor. And exhale. Slowly, slowly, slowly relax. And inhale. Press the lower tail to the mat, contract through the waistline at the back, all through the spine, and open the belly, not the ribs, the belly, and exhale to relax. My body already feels that that's a nicer and a fuller relaxation. And last one, press the tail to the floor, open the front belly, open the whole front line, contract the back, and then exhale. It's quiet, it's slow, slower than you ever thought you possibly could move. Oh good, now we're ready to go on to the number two. Reach the arms out to the side, up over your head, interlace the hands and slip them underneath your head. We do the same movement as 
start with, and then we come up into a curled position. So open the arms as much as you can, and if you can get your upper arms onto the floor, that's great. So we're open and vulnerable through the front of the body. Inhale, press your tail and your lower sacrum to the mat, opening the armpits and wide with the elbows, contracting in the back line. As you exhale, relax the back, then lengthen the head along the floor, press your feet into the mat, curl your sacrum, flatten your back to the floor, and reach your elbows forward like you're trying to cover your ears. You can scoop your abdominals down so you're like a C curve in the front and a curve in the back. And then inhale, slowly go down, lower your lower ribs, middle ribs, upper ribs, head and tail and arms to the floor. And exhale, lengthen, tail away from the head, start to curl the pelvis, curl the upper body, reach your elbows forward, use your feet to connect to the mat, and then inhale, slowly, 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 release. Inhale and exhale, relax the back, lengthen the head, lengthen the tail away, Curl the sacrum, curl the head, shoulders, ribs off the floor, reach your elbows forward, sink the belly towards the spine, and then inhale, lower down, get your lower ribs there first, and your mid ribs, and your upper ribs, and your arms, and relax. Now slide along your left leg, left arm along the floor, and roll all the way to your left side, and then onto your front. Turn your head to your right, and place the back of your right hand upwards, and place your left cheek on the back of your right hand. So you're looking into your right armpit. See? Hello. And left arm down by your left thigh, with your palm facing up. And breathe in. Opening your back ribs to the ceiling and breathe out. Just because it's a little different breathing in and out when you're on your front. Breathe in and open up the back ribs. And exhale, release. And let's start with the upper body lift. So as we inhale, still engaging your abdominals to protect you, you're going to lift your head. Your hand will do some work. Draw your right shoulder blade down. And look into your right armpit as you continue to breathe in, opening the front and the back ribs and lengthening the crown of your head to the wall in front. As we exhale, we come down, but slowly, thinking of one vertebra touching down, one rib touching down at a time. And you touch down and then you truly yield to the floor once more. Inhale, recruit the scapula, lengthen the spine. Coming up on a big inhalation to the front side and back of the ribs. Lengthen the crown of your head forward. Really look down into your armpit. And exhale slowly. I can feel each vertebra making contact with the mat until my arm and my head really relax down. Now we're going to add the opposite leg with the same upper body movement. So inhale, recruit the abdominals and the scapula, lengthen the crown of the head, reach the left leg long as it lifts up, looking into that right armpit, length, and I can use the back of my left hand to assist. Really lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And Quietening down as I lower to the floor and truly yield. Oh, it's so comfortable. One more. Inhale as we go up. Lengthen the leg, lengthen the crown of the head. Separate each vertebra, contracting through the back line. Looking into my armpit, it's Extend the spine, lengthen the leg, look into the armpit, and slowly, slowly come down. Relax. And 
Now turn your head to the other side so that you're looking into your left armpit and your right cheek is on the back of your left hand and your right hand down by your side. Start with two, just the head and breathe in. Looking into the left armpit, reaching long with the hand, long with the crown of the head and exhale going down. Inhale, coming up. Keep your tail as far away from the crown of your head as you can. Separate each vertebra so you don't feel any strain in your lower spine. Melt down. Relax down. Now we add the leg. And inhale, recruit the shoulder blade, the abdominals, lengthen the spine. Lengthen the leg, reach and put some weight into your right hand to assist. Opening the front body, lengthening the back body. And exhale, coming down slowly, slowly, does it completely relax. Inhale, recruit, lengthen and lift. Big breath into the front and the side of the ribs. Separate out the vertebra long. And exhale, down we go. Completely yield to the floor. Come on, you can melt just a little bit more. Through your pelvis and your hips. 
because it's actually literally like winding the body up and winding the body down. Winding the body up and winding it down. It's a very simple and beautiful exercise to do. So bring your arms down by your sides, close your eyes, lengthen one leg and then the other. Reach your arms a little bit longer, open through the chest. And I want you to finish off with a little rock and roll. Let's just see how connected we are from our feet to our head. Rock, rock, rock. And if you know your body is connected, to tell that your body is connected from head to toe, you'll feel as I rock through my legs, my sacrum, my spine and my head is moving. Stopping with everything. Relax. Yield to the floor. Breath in. And observe the quietness in your body and the internal sensation of all of those billions of cells vibrating to create a sensation of relaxation. Enjoy that state. I'll see you next time.